वेलकम यू ऑल इन टी आर लेसेंस वीडियो लेक्चर्स सो टूडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर्मूला एंड कॉन्सेप्ट रिलेटेड टू द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग सो इन जन इन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग इन गेट सिलेबस द मेजर पोर्सन इज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर हाईवे पेमेंट्स and traffic engineers so in this lecture we will discuss about the transport infrastructure and highway pavements the first important formula is related to the super elevation e plus f equal to v square by gr where e is the rate of super elevation f is the design value of lateral friction coefficient 0.15 v is the speed of vehicle in meter per second r is the radius of horizontal curve and g is the acceleration due to gravity is equal to 9.8 meter per second squares the same formula for super elevation in case of when v is in kilometer per hour so in that case the formula will be e plus f equal to v, capital v square divided by 127 r where now the important formula related is is the stopping side distance the stopping side distance is the summation of leg distance plus braking distance case 1 when v is in meter per second uh, stopping side distance will be equal to vt plus v square divided by 2g f plus minus n percent where so n percent descending gradient minus n percent ascending gradient we will consider plus n percent so case 2 when v is in kilometer per hour the uh, formula for ssd will be 0.278 v into t uh, plus v square divided by 254 f plus minus n percent so f is 0.4 to 0.35 uh, depending on the speed uh, 30 to 80 kilometer per hour it is the reaction time 2.5 second as per irc another formula is extra widening uh, is equal to the summation of mechanical widening plus uh, psychological widening mechanical widening is nl square divided by 2r and psychological widening is capital v divided by 9.5 under root uh r where n is the number of traffic lanes l is the length of wheel base longest vehicle in meter v is the capital v is the design speed in kilometer per hour r is the radius of horizontal curve in meter another important information we should know in transportation engineering that uh, single lane road the width is 3.75 meter for two lane roads without raised curve the width is 7 meter two lanes with raised curve 7.5 meter multi lane pavements 3.5 meter per lane another important thing uh, important formula is length of transition curve is vq upon vq upon cr where v is in meter per second r is the radius in meter and capital c is rate of change of centrifugal acceleration in meter per second cube and the value of c is greater equal greater than 0.5 and less than 0.08 as per india road congress and when v is in kilometer per hour the length of transition curve will be 0.0215 vq divided by cr where r is the radius of circular curve so another formula important formula is grade compensation is equal to 30 plus r divided by r where r is the radius of circular curve in meter and maximum grade compensation is 75 by r compensated gradient is ruling gradient minus maximum limit of grade compensation irc <coughs> compensated gradient should be greater than 4% other important formula is the length of summit curve 
केस वन इन केस ऑफ वेन द लेंथ ऑफ सबमिट कर्व इज ग्रेटर देन द स्टॉपिंग साइन डिस्टेंस इन दैट केस द लेंथ ऑफ सबमिट कर्व विल बी एन एस स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय द सम डिवाइडेड बाय द स्क्वायर ऑफ द सम ऑफ अंडर रूट टू कैपिटल एच प्लस अंडर टू स्मॉल एच वेयर एल इज द लेंथ ऑफ सबमिट कर्व इन मीटर and capital s is the stopping side distance uh, capital n is the deviation angle s is the height of eye level of driver above road way surface in meter generally we consider 1.2 meter as per irc and small h is the height of the object above the pavement surface 0.15 as per irc so when we substitute these two values we will get the uh, formula of the length of summit curve ns square divided by 4.4 so another important formula of case 2 when l is less than the ssd then length of will be 2s minus uh, square of the sum of under root 2h plus under root 2 small h All divided by n, where s is the stopping side distance in meter, l is the length of the summit curve for overtaking side distance. The other case case that length of summit curve for overtaking side distance or intermediate side distance. So when l is greater than s, l will be n s square by 8h, and case two when l is less than h, l will be equal to 2s minus 8h upon n. Another important formula: length of valley curve is two into square root of n v q by c, uh, where v is the speed in meter per second, c is the allowable rate of change of centrifugal acceleration, zero point six meter per second cube. L s is the length of transition curve for comfort condition is used, and L s is v q upon divided by c r. And value of R is L S upon N. So using this, we will get the value of uh, length of the valley curve. Another important concept: the, we should know that highway paved pavements are generally of two types: flexible pavements and rigid pavements. Flexible pavements is uh, top surface surface course. then base course then sub base course then soil sub grade in rigid pavement top is cement concrete slab then base course and soil sub grade another important formulas is uh, <coughs> sub grade modulus es for flexible plate delta is 1.5 pa divided by es where p is the uniform pressure on the flexibly loaded plate of radius a es is the modulus of elastic elasticity of the soil and delta is the vertical deflection at the surface and center of the flexible plate case 2 for rigid circular plate delta will be 1.18 pa divided by es another important formula Uh, another concept we should know the group group index value of soil vary in the range of zero to twenty. And uh, California bearing ratio (CBR) the CBR method of payments de designed by cumulated cumulative ex standard extra load. NS is equal to three sixty five a. One plus R to the power n minus one divided by R into F, where A is the number of commercial vehicles per day, considering the number of lanes. R is the annual growth rates of commercial vehicles. N is the design life of pavements, generally ten to fifteen years. F is the vehicle damage factor. Another important formula is the CBR values. CBR values is nothing but it, it is equal to the load on soil sample divided by standard load into hundred, and uh, the value of the standard load for penetration two point five mm is thirteen 
1370 kg and for 5 mm penetration is 2055 kg then radius of relative stiffness they are also very important is denoted by L and it is equal to EHQ divided by 12k into 1 minus mu square whole to the power 1 by 4 where L is the radius of relative stiffness E is the modulus of elasticity of cement concrete in kg per centimeter square mu is the position ratio for concrete 0.15 h is the slab thickness in centimeter k is the surface modulus modulus of subgrade reaction in kg per centimeter cube so thank you we will up <coughs> we will upload some more videos on the various sections of the gate syllabus in the next video lecture Thank you.